What's going on everyone? Today we're gonna do a fairly easy and fairly short tutorial on how to do a double exposure effect in Photoshop. So, let's dive in. First, you're gonna want to find a photo of a model. So I have this photo here, and I am going to bring this into Photoshop. So, what we want to do here is we want to isolate the model from the background. So the first step will be using either the quick selection tool or the magnetic lasso. So in this case, I'm going to use the quick selection tool and I'm just going to work my way around our model here. Just highlighting any features just like that. I got a little extra here, so if you hold down Option, you can sort of erase part of the selection. All right, and one thing I want to point out before we begin is that I'm on a Mac, so anytime I say Command in a hotkey, if you're on a Windows, just swap that with Control, and it'll do the same thing. All right, so now that we have our model selected, we want to right-click and hit Feather. We're going to make sure the Feather is a 0.5 and hit OK. Next, we want to select the model over here in our layers and hit Commands J to make a copy to isolate the model. And then we can relabel this new layer model. And now we can delete the other layer. Now what we want to do here is crop the image to make it sort of centered on the model. So if you click on the crop tool here, we can sort of expand the sides to center them up, make it probably a little closer to a square. I'm just going to lift the bottom a little. That should be perfect. And then just hit the check at the top here to set your final selection. Great. So now that we've cropped it, we want to go down to our layer selection here, click on no layers, then go to your adjustment selection here and go with solid color. We want to make this white. Now we want to bring our color fill underneath the model and we just want to label it BG for background. Perfect. All right, so now we have our model and we have our background. So what we want to do next is select our model layer and desaturate the layer. So you do that just by clicking on the layer, going up to image, adjustments, and desaturate. Perfect, so now it sort of has that black and white look to it. So now we want to bring in our second image. So if I go into my finder and just drag the new image in, it's going to appear right here. And this is just an image of mountains. You can go with any sort of um, unique nature image or whatever you want your double exposure to be. So we're going to name this mountain. Perfect. Now I want to change the opacity on my mountain layer here to about 50%. That way I can see where it is lined up with my model. Now also, when you want to adjust this, you don't just have to move it around. If you hit Command T, you can also scale the image, or you can even go and right click, and you can flip horizontally, flip vertically. For this one, I want the clouds popping out of the back of his head, so I'm just going to flip horizontally as I did. And I'm going to scale this up a little. If I hold down Shift as I scale, the photo will stay uniform. And that right there is perfect. I want it slightly covering his eye and the clouds popping out of the back. That should be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. Perfect. And now I'm going to up the opacity back to 100%. So if I then click on my model layer and hit Command and then click again on the layer, my selection will appear here which is exactly what I want. So then I want to jump back up to my mountain layer and click on the mask tool here, the mask icon, and that'll create my layer mask. So now you can see that I have the model overlaid on my mountain. Perfect, so now what we wanna do is create a copy of the model layer. So if you hold down Alt or Option and just drag the model layer up, you're gonna get a copy that'll go over the top of everything else. So now we're gonna change the blending mode of this to lighten this new layer. And you can start to see slight changes here, nothing too big yet. We're gonna make the opacity on this new layer about 50%. 
and then we're going to click the layer mask icon and we're going to click on the layer mask this little box here we're going to grab a brush tool we want to make sure the brush tool is at about a 40 percent opacity and then we're going to use a black foreground and just go ahead and delete part of the middle area see how we can still still see bits and pieces of his shirt though i want some of that if i just sort of draw in here a little it'll make the background pop out just a little and this is mainly on areas of the image that aren't where the face is the face we're going to want to isolate a little bit later you can see that sort of coming to there perfect all right so the next step of the process we want to select the mountain layer layer mask so right here and we want to use a brush tool again to reveal his face so you can see if you paint on there the model's face sort of starts to reveal and i just want to be very subtle maybe on the outside here i go a little stronger but I still want him to sort of blend in with the backgrounds and the new image we're working on. That is perfect. All right. So the next step, we want to select the background layer and we want to double click and sample a color from the background of our nature image. So I'm going to go with this sort of grayish sky and that'll give the background of our layers here this background layer a look as though it meshes with the photo and we'll just hit OK now we want to select the mountain layer and we want to hit commands J to duplicate now we're gonna delete the layer mask on this new mountain copy layer and on this new mountain copy layer we want to just change the blending mode to lighten now you can see we're starting to take form here, but you also notice there's still bits and pieces of the art that are showing up and they really shouldn't be there. So we don't want these image parts to be visible. So we need a black layer mask. And the way you do that is click on your mountain copy, hold down alt or option and click on the layer mask icon. Now that'll clear away any of that extra art that's showing through. And we'll have a crisp outline on our model. Perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do while we're clicked on the mountain copy layer mask is go to our brush. We want to have a white foreground and we're just going to paint in these clouds. So it sort of makes it feel like they're just appearing out of his head. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just sort of paint those in and give that nice touch. Perfect. All right, so we're getting close to the end here. Now we want to select our top layer. And we want to go to adjustments and choose solid layer. So click on your top layer, adjustments, solid layer, and we're just going to use a soft pink color, nothing too intense. And then we want to change the blending mode to multiply. Now we're also going to bring the opacity down a little because it's a little strong for me right now. We'll bring it around 20%. All right. Now we're going to click off any layers and we're going to hit Alt or Option again, Command Shift E, and that'll create a new layer of our image here. And we want to just desaturate this. So we're going to go to Image Adjustments, Desaturate. And with this, we're going to make a soft light opacity layer. Soft light. And that'll sort of give some nice contrast to our image to really pop it. And if we just drop the opacity to about 30%, we have a final image. So guys, you can see here that this is a great way to do a double exposure in Photoshop. It's relatively easy, and you can play with a number of different photos and see how they work together. So I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Feel free to leave some comments if you have questions or any thoughts moving forward. And thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll be back in the next one.